walking in love. Or simpler to let me around. Walking in love. Or simpler to let me around. Will cause God. It now happens to manifest or you fall apart in a powerful way in your life. That's why I am not going to be able to do that. number four, verse number eight. First John chapter four verse eight. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. He that loveth not. Written again. He that loveth not knoweth not God, uh-huh. for God is love. He who does not love, he does not love. He doesn't know God. Absolutely. Because God's nature. I the nature of God on its own is love. So when you want to see the deity called God manifesting in your life, you need to be a person who walk in his character called love. I've never seen people who hate with their entire being. Like people who speak in tongues. Actually, there's two much hate that we can They were not crazy. 
de la no man had seen God at any time. No man had seen God at any time. If we love one another, if we love, listen to this, this it's a matter of if, not when. Continue later. If we love one another, if we love one another, God dwelleth in us. God dwelleth in us. And his perfect love. And his love is perfected in us. And his love is perfected in us. When we love one another, when you walk in love, God comes and pepper matters in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know that Jesus does not operate in hatred? Even when he meets with the devil, he doesn't change. The love of him defeats the evil works of the devil. Because light and darkness cannot meet. When light appears, darkness trembles and disappears. You don't have to fight with darkness when you carry light. You don't have to shout on darkness when you carry light. Because of love. How do you speak in tongues? Unknown tongues. But still have people around you who don't talk to with your native language. Don't talk to with your native language. How do you speak in tongues? Why do you still have people who are in the classification of hatred in your life?
that there's no one I hate in my life. Yeah, even when I have a proof of what you do, I will never. Mm -hmm. I have learned the secret. In two in love. Dwell in love. Dwell in love. Dwell in love. Some you hate your parents with passion. Because of what they did not do. You see, one man of God says, when you are born, you look like your mother or your father. But as you grow, you look like your decisions. Some of you are born, you look like your father or your mother. As you grow, you look like hatred. The one you possess, you look like anger. You look like hate. Look like offense. And angry people and hateful people, they think the people they hate will be affected. But who ever you hate, you will never be affected. But you will never be affected. It's like drinking poison and wish the next person to die. Poison, and you say yeah, they will die soon. We will see you fuming, and we will see you some assaulting and rolling around. Because whoever dwell in love, dwell in God. John 3 35. The book of John, chapter number 3, verse 35. It's shocking how this John. Forever speak of love because it is the John that also wrote in his book that he is John the beloved of Jesus. Yes. Yeah, he classified himself as the beloved. Matthew, yeah. Mark, Luke, they have never wrote such. But this one, because he was forever on the chest of Jesus. Listen to this. The Father loved the Son. And had given all things into his hand. Mm -hmm. He that believeth on the Son had everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. Mm -hmm. But the wrath of God abideth on him. Mm. What is that? John 13. It's John 13. John 13, 35. I need to have the proper practice of my pronunciation. John 13. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples. If you have loved one to another. Not when. Because it's conditional. If you love one another. They will not know you because you wear a long skirt that reaches your ankle. But that's what the Lord says about now. Walk in love, you love one another. But also, I we now with some other 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 because a disciple will never be greater than the master. Because the master he is a lover. Ah, can I tell you something? That the character of the lover will never be greater than the love of the lover. Ah, I'm confused. Even the interpreter is will never be greater than the love of the lover. So Jesus says, if you love one another, they will know that you are my disciples indeed. Because my character is love. So my character So 
the character of the lover will never be greater than the love of the lover. Which means, when you fall in love with a stingy man, his love goes along with his character. <laughs> That you are my disciples. Yeah, they will know. But that's it. Three reasons why people hate each other. Why people hate each other? Different perspective. Different perspective. Church people hate each other based on different perspective. Church A has been given a mandate to teach a certain subject. If you know what you do, Church B has been given a certain mandate to preach a particular subject. If you know what you do, So those who are not under a particular subject, they hate a subject that is being taught by others. We don't have to agree on what we don't understand to love each other. We don't have to. The fact that another church uses oil, and where you are, they don't use oil. It doesn't give you permission to hate them because of oil. Different perspective. You will be shocked the day you die. No one has died here. The day you die, you will get to heaven and you will realize there are no branches there. No branches, not correct. Branch. No branch. There's no branch there. When you die, the world say those who are under apostle gate come this side. Enter. On the roof, it's a little more than one in the facade. We'll take it to America. Names and locals of churches are there only for administrative purposes. Marina, I didn't get a more fellow or a woman at all. You meet a believer, he's holding water. You are not holding water, you are holding your Bible. You can't even show them love because of your different perspective. You hate them with passion. Have you ever seen a sinner hating another sinner? In Tonga, they say baboons, they are, they are laughing at each other's forehead. That's the song I read. They are laughing, not laughing. Yes, they are. Yeah. They are fair. 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 They they do what you don't do in your church. And you want God to manifest. You want God to manifest. You can hate the act, but don't hate people. Do you know that? And they took time to come to church because they were told they will find Jesus. Because they were told And when they come, the only dress they had was a mini dress or a mini skirt. And they sit next to a religious self centered celebrator. As they pray, they are interceding. When Apostle comes to them, they teach them on the 
demons of ministers must get out of me. That day you are even spiritual. And you show them hatred. And they say the Jesus I was told about. It's like he is different from the Satan I was with. Different perspective. Different perspective. Different perspective. Never hate people because you see things. We can't help all of all people being poor. We need Joseph. Who will be in governance? We need Daniel. Who will be in a strategic position? Here I am to say 
Barikin nao mwane. And then after service. Hapa rawa asemeniti. Never. Kasi ike. Over my dead body. Kasi ike. Not for kidding. Kasi wa chare. And the Bible says. Bibi ni ili. For beef. Chare. Seven times. Seven times. A day. Maholo ama sumeju. You don't understand where I'm coming from. Apostle, how you sure that it's okay? You don't understand. How you see? In my family, we hardly forgive. Tangai aro chare de pe. We hardly forgive. Tangai aro chare de pe. This is how we are. Ki 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 se rilenso. Which means you are not yet born again. Ora we na asu asu. The Bible says you are now a new creature. Now here we are now as it was in all is gone. Unresolved conflict. Don't wait for people to confront you in order for you to love them. Oscar, you may want to remind them where now of it and now. Yeah, don't wait. Oscar, we are here. Love them. Barat. Love them. Barat. Love them. Barat. Number three. Not knowing people's motives. Hosentive ma intemisho jo ama. When you don't know someone's motive, Hosentive ma intemisho jo ama. You misinterpret their actions and their words. How do we worry? Who 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 a husband will say something to a wife, and the wife will be like, "What? What did you say?" Or a wife says something to a husband. Or a wife says something to a husband. Or a husband a woman And the husband goes to bed thinking about it. Because you do not know their motives. It is easy to forgive whom you know their motive when they do wrong. How many of you are trying to live a true life when my game is so abhor? Because you know their heart more than what they are doing. Sometimes people do things out of mistakes. Now, when you are very abhor, I cannot imagine you are trying to really cause. Sometimes people will say things not because they want to hurt you, but you are trying to really hurt you. You are not worried, but because you do not know their motive. You become enemies. Do you know you are not the only one with the problem in this one? What's the matter? How how much she more than the matter? Even me, I can pass you. I have my own problem. Let me land down. Fit to carry the matter. And then after I pass you, wow! I'm around. Fit to go. Fit to go. The whole apostle. Come on, I was born like you. I did not jump. I see no fufafe. From heaven and descend here on earth. Ocho alo di mo kano kano i kweja kile mo di pasi. The only man who came like that it was Adam. Ocho alo di mo kano kano i kweja kile mo di pasi. He was never a baby. Asanta wa wa. He just came for the matter. Oni le anje a wuji alo mo. So sometimes, if people pass you greet them, kano mo di mo wa chwa ofita kano mo di. So no wait and plot to see if they will greet you or not. You walk in love until God start to manifest in your life. Certain sicknesses are not diabolic sicknesses. We created them through hatred. Yeah, because your brain is forever hot. Your body is forever exhausted. Because of hateful tendencies. When you go to a hospital, they diagnose you. They tell you you have hypertension. You have high blood pressure. Why? Because you are not a Christian. You will begin to say in the name of Jesus. Yes, he is. So am I. But he he has his own name, not his own. Jesus does not have hypertension. And Jesus, I don't have. Let not have his own. Paint them out of your heart. Didn't 
Result of salvation. The way no one can It's when they start to love people. It's a sign to prove that they are genuinely born again. Romans 13 8. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth one another, he that loveth one another, you complete the law. Result of salvation. Sin, you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through spirit and to unfeigned love of the brethren. See that love, you love one another with a pure heart fervently, being born again not of corruptible seed, but of the incorruptible seed by the word of God, which liveth and abide forever. When you walk in love, it's a sign you are genuinely born again. Ask your neighbor, neighbor, are you genuinely born again? Are you renewed? Where is your love? Where is your love? People who are genuinely born again, but they love with yeah. They love. I forever tell the workers, you must never hate people who left this church, whether good or bad. Love everyone. Me, if I meet you in a mall, I won't change it. I won't change it. I can't get gas while I was not good at it. And I will want to keep if, if you run away, I run after you. <laughs> <laughs> so you from far, man, how are you? You know why? How are you doing? How have you been? Oh, we bless the Lord. Yeah. That's to be like that. Time to wake up That's to be like that. You show genuine love simply because you are not born again. Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Why? It is power unto salvation. It has the ability to transform. When you are operating hatred, there are people who will hate and hate your shoe, hate your dress, hate your suit. If they pass your house with this, you see, the owner of that thing. Yeah. 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 When you lie, you complete the law. The Ten Commandments as a symbol of tithing if you do the ten you have done the 600 laws of Moses and Jesus came and he said if you want to complete the ten do the one if you want to complete the 600 But if you want to fulfill the 10 and the 600 plus, do one. Love. Oh. You do what? You remember when God wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Abraham began to intercede. He started, what if there is pity? God says, I will spend it. What did they spend? I'll spend it. 20. I'll spend it. And then 
when the heat comes to ten, hey, I'm the only son. You stop. I am. Why didn't Abraham say, What if there's one? Because the ten that will test what's going to come from every number in Shabbat and Kobar. If ten is separated unto God, then ninety is justified. Ninety eight will gain. And when ten was not found, Judgment was passed. It completes the law. Romans 30, verse number 8. Oh, no man, anything but to love one another. For he that loveth one another has fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, and all others. Only because one operates in love. Number four. It's a proof of the life of Christ. That the life of Christ is embedded in you. First John 3 verse number 14. We know that we have passed from death unto life. Because we love the brethren. And he that loveth not his brother abide in death. Christ lives in you. When you start to laugh, when you start to laugh, it's a demanded command. Number five, six, what is that? Number five. Now, it's a demanded command. First John 3:23. And this is his command that we should believe on the name of his son Jesus Christ. And love one another as he has commanded us. It's a command. Get time. It's not a negotiation. You are not commanded to trust everyone. You are not commanded to associate with everyone. But you are commanded to love everyone, more especially the brethren. Can, can I tell you something that many of you won't believe? Do you know that the family of God as a church is bigger than your biological family? Do you know that? When Jesus was preaching, his mother and his siblings, they came. And news came to Jesus that your mother and your brothers are looking for you. And Jesus said, my mother and my brother and my sister are these ones. Who are hearing the word? Jesus, who will tell you my bow in yard? If the Jesus are in, what you will do? Bow, give them a It's a response to God loving us. You know that God loves you, you begin to love other people. Be loved. Let us love one another. For love is God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Love is more than a characteristic of God, it is his character. It is his character. That's first John, chapter number four. The last one, then we pray. It demonstrates God's existence. No man has seen God at any time. But if we love one another, God dwelleth in us. No man has ever seen God at any time. But if we love one another, maybe let me say that again. Someone can understand it. No man has seen God at any time. But when we love one another, God dwells. No man has seen God at any time. But when we love one another, God comes and dwells in us. 
That means when you want to see God in totality, start to walk in love, you will accept his character. Amen. Oh, yeah. That is the powerful message I've ever preached. I, I feel it even myself that this is very powerful. Yeah, I'm not in the moment. I'm not you might not be doing it. But you are enjoying my message. I'm enjoying it. No man has seen God. But when we love one another, God comes and abides among us. So when you love people, you show the of God, even to believers and not believers. Amen. 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 I'm not talking pretense, I'm talking genuine love. When you are sitting in that house, there is tranquility. Peace. 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 You, you are engineered differently. Have you ever entered a house where people were gossiping you and you can tell something is not right? The same thing. Yeah. 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 There's God here. There's God here. That's why you will never find us behind this pulpit preaching against any church or any man of God. Never. 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 We never find you. But not here. Even among the ministers, they won't do it. Never can aid. We don't do it. We are for the church. We are not against the church. We are for the church. We stand for the church. We defend the church. We stand for the church. We stand for the church. We defend the church. We stand for 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 the church. We stand where I was fellowshipping, the, the, the pastor built a huge auditorium. Huge. Huge. Without any pillar in the middle of the building. And the storm came and brought it down. Like we Pastors went and did the bride. As they were praying the meat, they are asking themselves, what was he thinking? To build such a basa basa. Without a pillar in the middle. He is thinking we are very stupid to build our churches and we build them small. These are people who claim to be born again. But celebrate when another man of God is in the trial. The No pretense. You hate him. 
you speak on TV, you speak on your pulpit, or you speak on your pulpit, or you speak on your pulpit, you won't respond. Look, look at the manifestation. Look at the manifestation. And go and check those who spoke against him. Look at the manifestation. The only manifestation is vibration. And those who pretend to be under power. No healing. 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 No Hatred. 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 Hatred will hinder you. Ah, but I believe I'm preaching to people who are genuinely born again. That the love of God will be seen in your life. Your family will start to see the life of God through your life. Ah, if you believe it, shout the louder, Amen. amen. If you believe it, shout the louder, amen. amen. Yeah. That here we don't even have a second class citizen and first class citizen. More me Yes. You see, there are cars that are parked outside. Is it so? Do you see a car inside here? Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, you, you see a car? Whether you came with your Lexus or you came with your four Lexus. Once we, enter, once we enter in the presence of God, we are all sons and daughters who must be treated with love. Ah, God, I'm preaching. Yeah. 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 If they did not hear me, I don't do I preach. Yeah. Don't even hate people because they are not your tribe. Yeah. Don't. Some want to marry you because they are not your tribe. What? What? Which one do you say? I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Tell your neighbor you have missed your blessing. You have missed your blessing. Yeah, you, you still looking for a language. A language can be taught. I taught her at home. She can write it, she can read it. She can read it. She can read it. She can read it. Remember when I called my mother and I said, eh, I have my coffee for you. <laughs> then she was like, which language does she speak? Yeah. Then I said, Ah, you speak Hebrew. She 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 said, Ah, you speak how do you tell the matter? I think I can do the important thing. I don't know. 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 Don't hate people because of the language they speak.